And your podcast is so stupid. I hate it. At night. I hate it. Sunil Patel. I hate you. Huge Davies. And I hate you. You are now entering Slam Country. Fifth time's the charm. Yeah. Fifth time's the charm. We've started recording this podcast. And it's, I'll tell you what, it's a damn good thing too. Because, uh... I didn't connect my microphone, and we made about seven racist blunders in a row. <laughs> not we. Let's not say no, we. Yeah, it was. Oh, I was trying to be nice, but it was you. <laughs> it was I made you. no. I made uh, no racist blunders. It's it's actually it's I've, actually f- fine to confuse Japanese people and Vietnamese people. I found the guy you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, so he spent no. 29 years in the jungle hiding yeah. after the war. Mm-hmm. Should we start uh, this all again? So because it, there's no. You were talking about this like anyone has any context of what you've said. It's D Day anniversary tomorrow, and I was saying that the other two weren't being respectful enough. And Hugh said, Hugh said that he <laughs> was in D Day, and he wasn't. He was on a jet ski, unlike the pussies in Landing Craft. And then we got on to the the Japanese man who spent thirty years fighting on a on a Philippines yeah, island. Was, I didn't Hugh say said, it. Hugh said he was Vietnamese. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't say any of that. Guns. I didn't say any of that stuff. That's crazy. Your imagination is wrong, wrong wild. I will put in the dirty recording where, where I'm using my laptop's internal mic. I'll make the listener no. sit through it to prove that you're wrong. No. I'll clip it. Don't do that. I'll clip it, lad. I'll clip it. Sunil <laughs> has finally been been so against clips for the whole thing. <laughs> and suddenly, as soon as this... This is all you, want, this is all did, you wanted. Did the other thing, that did the racist thing that Sunil said say in? What was that? What did he say? <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Should, we, should we start recording? <laughs> we should start. Re- no, yeah, let's just stop. Right. All right. Okay, look. We've talked We talked about Oswald Mosley, Ed's moustache. No. Um, Sunil said I look like Oswald Mosley. Uh, no, I said I took a picture of him for you because he uh, had a very striking moustache when I saw his picture today. This is but, Slime um, Country podcast, by the way. Fucking hell. Oh, we'd be starting like that, are we? That's we, absolutely, that's crazy. And we respect the troops. And we all have different volume levels on our microphones. Especially the Viet Cong. Especially the Viet Cong. Do you, want, do you Anyone, want to back off your microphone? No, you, want, you, t- you told me to put it closer. <laughs> Anyone you need to kills, get it away from your mouth, man. Anyone who kills American soldiers is all right by me. Anyone who kills American GIs is all right by me. Oh my Except God. for obviously the obviously the Nazis. That's why we all love the Second World War so much, isn't it, guys? Because it's the only one where we're the goodies. What are you on about? We're we've been, in all we've been we've been goodies before. Let's everyone get a grip. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> get a grip. Every, everybody so, get a grip, please. All right, Ed, what's your highlight of the week, please? Highlight of the week is um uh probably both tonight. Made a really because it's only Monday when we're recording this, so it's not been much week. Yeah, good point. But um, I had a really, I made a really nice curry, and uh, Trent Alexander Arnold scored a very nice goal for England. That's oh. lovely. That's really nice. And Eze and Wharton played uh, spectacularly. Um, so that's. Hopefully I was really hoping being in the squad. I was hoping that Trent Alexander Arnold be connected to the curry in some way, maybe. But it completely do different things, aren't they? Only yeah. that I ate the curry while he scored the goal. What yeah. kind of curry was it, though? It's like a prawn curry. And let me tell you something, boys. For me, the best thing about cooking and eating a curry, my favorite bit of the whole process, apart from eating a yummy dinner, is when you put like all the seeds and the curry leaves in at the start. When you fry them off. Yeah, yeah, that's r- my favorite. That's my favorite bit of the whole thing. When you put the curry mm. leaves and the seeds in the pot or the pan, that's the awesome bit. <laughs> Helen has just texted Sunil saying, "I just heard you say get a grip." <laughs> <laughs> I've told her so many times that this podcast is actually a professional outfit. It is a professional outfit. Why is she uh, buying in while, we, while you're at work? Or why is she trying to she, buy in while you're at work? And she's outside smoking. Is it? That's not okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I reckon it was her that, like, I was in bed the other day, just in the afternoon, just sitting on my bed, and she came into our room and um, she said, "What's that on the floor?" And I said, "I don't know." And she went, "That's a worm." And there was a worm in my room. Oh wow! I this think is she like trod that in. This is like the return of the maggots again. I didn't think that you no. were the cause of the maggots. No, 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 no. The maggots were nothing to do with us, Hugh. I hate maggots. All... Yeah. Well, well that's I controversial. Don't, don't get controversial again. 
Not, yeah. a, not, not after. I think they're an the essential part of the life cycle, actually. Full stop. In not honor of D Day. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's no, that's out of order. <laughs> I've, been out of order I've been rewatching Band of Brothers now. If you, if the three of us were were American paratroopers in 1944, yeah, what do you think? Who do you think we would have been in Band of Brothers? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it either. But I've heard that Ross <laughs> sorry, from Friends. Old. I've heard that yeah, Ross sorry. is Ross from Friends is in it. Yes, he is. It's his dad. But he's playing his dad, right? What is it? No, it's true. <laughs> It, yeah, Ross's dad doesn't. No, his dad. His dad would've... is in Friends. His sorry. His, his dad is in, in Friends. Friends. No, no, no. Ross is playing. So, Ross's, actor, Ross's the, dad is Ross and Rachel's dad isn't in Band of Brothers. Yeah, you've. No, this well, is this is true. This is true. I've I've read this about this in a porno. It's and Ross's... I can hear you heavy breathing. <laughs> that's that's genuinely not me. That's my laptop fan. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be saying things like you, that. That sounds crazy. You can't. You can't, you anyway, can't be right, man. Even, even though I've turned off echo noise room cancellation, it's all turned off. <laughs> that's 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 not me. I've been silent. Have you sent the keys to the studio back in yet? No, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Fuck it now. We got so kicked David... out four days ago. The actor David Schwimmer is playing right. Ross's dad in Band of Brothers. It's like it's like Dennis the Menace's dad. Dennis the Dennis the Menace is he's now playing the playing... character Ross's dad. Yeah, no, he's he plays both Lieutenant Sobel. He plays he plays a the, the I think his name is Sobel. He's the he's the drill sergeant. I can't he's believe we're nasty... getting fake he's... news this early into the record. This is crazy. He's the nasty he's the nasty boy at base camp who tells yeah. all of our lovely brave boys off and is really rubbish at being in the war himself. Karahi, you guys really, watch it. It's good. Oh no, I watch it. I watch that, and I, I've I've seen Masters of the Air. You'd That's like good. it, Sunil. You'd like it a lot. I, is there a lot? Is there a lot of stuff, man? A lot of lads breaking down and stuff in the in the band of brothers. I assume they become brothers or yeah, a band. There's a, yeah, there's a bit of them breaking down. There's a lot of people dying and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People get good shot. to see. It'd be good to see some of that actually. By the Bosch, they all get shot by Jerry. Is it a bit woke? Do they they do they start crying and they go, "Oh, this is a bit woke," or do they don't really that, say anything? Like and that? that's the great thing about it: it's yeah. not woke because it's in the Second World War. Oh, uh, oh, it's not woke, and that's brilliant. When when did when did woke start, Ed? Um, the twelfth of September two thousand and one. Who'd have thought? I'm just going to Google this. I'm just going to Google the day before that. See what happened. <laughs> <laughs> woke, woke started the day that Tony Blair was elected as Prime Minister of this gorgeous country. Do you think we're just more like it's just more off the leash when it's on Zoom, isn't it? No, I'm drinking. That's why I'm off the leash. That's it. That's what I'm saying. I'm getting fucked up. I, I even brought a, another smaller bottle of wine to refill with. Look what I got for you. What's oh, wow. oh, camels! Wow. I've been really good at not smoking, but thank you, Sunil. Yeah, about I'll half. You, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take them to um to Cannes with me. You're going to Cannes? Yeah, I'm speaking at Cannes. Nice. What do you mean you're speaking at Cannes? I'm giving Why haven't a you told us this? But that's fucking great, man. Yeah, it's pretty sick. I'm excited. Um, do you want us to come with you for moral support and emotional support? Yeah, I think we should probably do a live podcast from the speech. From the beach. From the beach. Nice. I'm going to live like Porco Rosso for two days. You take a little white suit. Yeah. Can is the Can is the is the one that's nice. There's there's a film festival that's not nice, isn't it? Isn't it Sundance is not nice or something? Is it not? Is that I have in, no um, fucking idea. I Don't think worry. Sundance is, is is snowy and Cannes is sunny. Yeah, that so makes I think sense. yeah. yeah. Cannes That'd is be sun, good, sunny. Ed. It's in the south of France, which I, I don't think I've ever been to before. I've been to the south of France before. Maybe I'll tell you what, it's nice. It is nice. It's really good. Anyway, really I good. can't remember being there. So if I w- no, I'll tell you, that's a lie. Um, I'll tell you, that's a lie. When I was nine years old, my auntie and uncle went on holidays there with their friends and they said me and my mum and dad could come. But I can't really remember it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Actually, yeah. that's tell a lie. I can remember reading Dragon Ball Z in French. Can you speak French? No. We did this there. 
Huh? You, you just did, did just that. You just did that. You can't speak French. Je, je ne parle pas français. Whoa. Wow. Wow. I can tell the speech is going to be incredible. <laughs> you got to do it in French? No. <laughs> Are you gonna? Are you doing it like a chat, or are you doing it like a like an actual speech? Or are you gonna be doing a comedy set and then te- tearing it all apart, showing them the cur- you know the curtain behind the curtain, like the Wizard of Oz? The curtain behind the curtain. <laughs> yeah, the curtain behind the curtain. I think it's specifically about uh, comedy and advertising. It's like the um, it's like the it's not like the Cannes Film Festival that's happened. It's like another oh, right. bit of the. It is. Oh, to, is it the Can Lion? Is it the Lion? Yeah, yeah, it's Lions. Yeah, it's kind of like you know how you've got the Edinburgh Festival, mm. but then afterwards you've got like a second smaller Edinburgh Festival that's just about films or whatever. Right. Or okay. Books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That it's yeah. like that. I think I don't know anything about it. He just called me up last week while I was in Lidl and was like, "Do you want to come to France?" And obviously, I said yes. How many nights are you there? Um, I think we're there for two nights, but we oh, get in. Perfect. But we get in quite late. We get in late, so. Yeah, nice. Make sure you try some French stuff while you're out there. Oh, Don't boys, just go to Macca's and stuff. If either of you want, no, I won't go to Macca's because there's obviously a boycott on. But yeah. if either of you want anything back from France, you tell me. If you, you want any fucking saucisson, if you want Calvados, I'm your boy. I'd like you a, doing. I'd like checked, a French egg, please. A French, French egg. egg for you. Yes, please. Are yeah, you what? doing checked luggage or hand? I don't know. I'll have to double check that. Thank you. Um, if you're doing you... checked, I'll have a knife. Yeah. All right, an open L. Yeah. Don't you, um, Hugh, Hugh, don't you mean on Irv? Bloody hell. Still no, an egg. An I Irv. foresee you staying out there forever. It's one of those things. My friend went to Germany once for, to Berlin for a holiday. She never came back. Really? Yeah. She all Stay right? there forever. No, oh. she got, she, no, she's got ill. She was oh. there for brain tumor, but. You know, I sort my, of re- my friend went. To, my friend went to a clinic in Switzerland, and they loved it so much they never came back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One of my oldest, dearest friends. <laughs> my dad. My dad loved it so much in Switzerland. He never returned. <laughs> yeah, and he gave me his house and all of his stuff. <laughs> I um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be fun as hell. I can see myself um getting wrapped up in the French lifestyle. Ah, oh, it's lovely. Eating a, a rabbit haunch wrapped in a vine leaf. Come on, oh, when they I was sp- thinking more hot chocolate in the morning. They smoke out there for a laugh. Do you know what I mean? Like, they love it. Yeah. Well, that's it. In in that's this country, it. you you're smoking in this country. People are looking at you. See if you're taking a shit in the street. Out there, the president's doing conferences. He's he's smoking on the conferences. You know what it, I'm saying? It's going to be he's so fucking hard. His, he's fucking his teacher. He's Hugh, smoking I'd in be the conferences. I'm applauding you right now. Absolutely, ruin the record. Absolutely, yeah. good man. Stuff. You're so yeah. so right. Yeah, yeah, it's country's gone to shit, man. Con- this country's gone to shit over in France. <laughs> over in France, they got it going on. They, they got it going do. on in France. <laughs> they don't even have podcasts out there because it's too. The life is too good. They don't even need I, them. I think Absolutely. you're right. I've never heard a French podcast. Me neither. Yeah, and I and I tell you what, I wouldn't want to. No, because <laughs> of, <the way, laughs> of the way they sound. You know I mean? Yeah, because they can't speak Weird. French. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I um, I I love. Uh, I love the French. I love French cooking. Come on. Do you know what the biggest what? Uh, city with a French population is outside of Paris? Um, it's going to be something uh, like not in France, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, don't know. Tell us. Okay. It's London. Is it? Whoa. Let me Google it. I feel like I've just been pushed into the inception dream. Fucking hell, that's crazy! You uh, spun me out. I'm spun out. Yeah, I don't. What? Well, don't quote me on it. Let's um, because uh, I, I, I I'm know, happy wait, to like stick wait, with Japan, that, it's, but it's, I know it's someone's actually, gonna message. It's Japan, actually. <laughs> <laughs> You've got those two mixed up. <laughs> that was a little. While. I'll tell you what is really cool. Sorry. Lo- okay, here's the actual fact: London, France's sixth sixth biggest city. But that's also the same for Italy, isn't it? Did you Is know it? that? Yeah, uh, no. so I, I was watching a TV program about um, Italian food, where they go through like every province of Italy, or whatever, or every area of Italy to look at their man food. versus food. Good show. Yeah, it was uh, Stanley Stan versus food. It was Stanley Tucci's. <laughs> and, um, and the sixth episode was in London because they said it's got such a massive 
Italian population and then making like Is so it? much good Italian food going in the city. They were like, Where they go, Bella food. Pasta? Bella, Bella Italia or Bella Pasta? No, they Is... went to Pizza Express. <laughs> Bella is um, Italian for beautiful, beautiful pizza. That's what that restaurant's. What's pasta beautiful. Italian for? Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're saying you're saying that you're saying that that Bella is Italian for beautiful, and Italia is Italian it's for a, pizza. The pizza, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's called beautiful pizza. The whole thing. Yeah. Right. I see. Yeah. Yeah. I am. Um... It's a, and honestly, if you have a pizza there, it does look beautiful. Comes out to you on a mm. on a on a three tier tray. It's beautiful. Especially the I one love where they pizza cut, being served like that. They cut a hole out in the middle and put a load of leaves in there. But I, oh, I thought Ed, you were Ed, oh, don't, don't, yeah, don't. <laughs> I, was, I was about to <laughs> completely veto that. The way it is not. The way, <laughs> it, comes, it comes out hanging off the way it is not. <laughs> like a like Hugh, a yeah. veto that. Hugh, veto it, please. <laughs> I'm vetoing it right <laughs> now. You, if you can get you it, do it something, man. like a ring toss, then you get it for free. Right. Do you want me to tell everyone to get a grip again? Do you want me to do that again? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Everyone, get a grip. Oh my god! Cute. A ladybird just landed on my computer screen. Not now, Fucking Hugh. Hell. Sorry. <laughs> Look, I'm just no. being attacked. I'm being attacked. And I'm under attack. This is D-Day. <laughs> Come back for eighty years later to have a. Hang on. We're in high gear now. This is vintage slime country, everybody. This is good. All yeah. the people that held out for those first twenty minutes, they're they're being rewarded now. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Wow, that's good. But you know we're not recording video on this one. Oh, fuck. Sorry. I held the yeah, lady kill up it. to the... No, yeah, you yeah, just well... killed it. Yeah. I didn't kill it. I would Where never is do it that. Gone, eh? Where it's is on it? my computer screen. It's just ah. having a go. There's a lot of lights in here. Oh, I saw something amazing. Did I tell you about it on the bonus episode? No. What? Nevertheless, I'll tell you about it now. No, okay. Nothing happened. Nothing amazing happened on that bonus episode. <laughs> I, I was in the, the national a national trust shop in rural Yorkshire Dales, and a swallow flew through the door. And no, you did two, say this, the, yeah, the, yeah. The two really old people, not and the, who worked there, the very nice people, but they were very old. Nothing wrong with old people. Exactly, like love them. Uh, they started chasing it around with children's fishing nets, trying to get it out. It was unbelievable. I could, yeah. I was so lucky to see that. Above and yeah. beyond that, did you have a nice holiday, Sunil? Shit, I went to Menorca. Mm. Beautiful place. Beautiful place. Bella, Bellissimo. Beautiful. Bellissimo. And I, <coughs> they had one massive Burger King. I didn't make it to <laughs> in the, um, in the, in the t- big town. Uh, no, we were staying in bu- this. <laughs> do they do the burgers big there too? Is it like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> is it like everything's extra big? I can't remember eating out actually. I can't remember what I had. Oh yeah, I went to this beautiful like, um, mountain top mountain like mountainside restaurant like in the open air like doing like steaks the size of a um, uh, a 15 inch MacBook Pro just fucking massive wow I, d- I didn't have that I had pasta instead who did you one, of the, um, old, one of the old ones uh, like the the old the old MacBook Pros the old MacBook Pros the, the white ones, ones yeah, yeah. ones yeah. that have a fan in built yeah 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 yeah, yeah. it's that big who, um, who I, are you out there with Neil why wasn't it me and Hugh well it was organized by um your friend and ours uh Rosie Richardson, Red Richardson's wife. Uh, wow. And then she couldn't make it, so there was a spare room, so I took it. Nice. Um yeah, so I went with uh Sean McLaughlin, um Alexa, uh Sean's wife that is. Um Sophie Will and Johnny Pelham, shout out obviously. Shout out uh, to all of them. Kate Lucas, shout out. Harry shout out. Kinsley, shout out. So went with those people. Uh, only person doing the cooking and driving was the person who isn't a comedian. So was that was Alexa? Good. Yeah. Awesome. Shout out Alexa for absolutely sorting us our holiday out. Yeah, great. Um, highly recommend Menorca. Um, I saw like a couple of statues. Uh, got in a lift. It's good to see a statue in this country. They're all being torn down. That's right, Hugh. Do you know what if I'm saying? I could yeah. applaud you, I yep, would. Absolutely. Ta- I've heard they're taking down the D Day statue tomorrow. They That's are. What is I've it D Day statue? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot of it's fucking too- pussies coming out of a boat while Hugh rides around <laughs> on the jet ski in the background. It's it's too big. <laughs> Hugh, Hugh, if you die, I'm going to crowdfund a fucking statue. They're banning Daredevil because iPads. of this. <laughs> that's why they cancelled daredevil on netflix is because it represents the initials of d-day D- it's too oh, similar daredevil yeah. the blind one yeah 
He's the one that's so he's so blind you can hear great. Oh uh, yeah, when you develop yeah. extra skill after losing one. <laughs> he's, yeah, yeah. he's so blind you can hear great. <laughs> that's what it says on the description. Because you think there'd be a, th- a threshold for blindness, but he's no, so he's bl- super, he's, he's super, super blind. Of it. Yeah, he's he's the he's doctor. Blinder he's, than, he's blinder than just closing your eyes. The first it? scene of that whole show, he goes into the doctor's office. And he says, I'm bl- I feel I can't see anything, Doctor. The doctor goes, it's not just that. You're extra blind. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. What do you see if you're extra blind? Like darker blacks? Like an OLED you see TV? Sal. You see, see, it's quite interesting, actually, because the way it works is that he's so blind, he can see things with his ears. But in that, in that way, that makes him not blind. <laughs> <For fuck's sake. laughs> he can, he's so blind, he can see things with his ears. But in that way, that makes him not blind. Yeah, it does yeah, because he can see. He's so he, blind; he's not blind anymore. No, no one even knows. The criminals don't even know that he's blind. It's like so. It's he, not even an advantage that he can use. It, you know, it would be an advantage, not. But he can hear so well. He can. He can hear <laughs> like got, people flushing toilets from three streets away. <laughs> it's, it's, it's incredible! It's incredible! It's it's oh, John, the most happening? the most unrealistic bit of Daredevil is how he ever gets how the cunt ever gets any fucking sleep because he, <laughs> he, he he lives in the middle of New York City and he can hear everything in a ten mile radius. You should get some of those earphones you have for um I bought some ear for earplugs for autistic people. My friend was telling <laughs> Right. I bought some for like the tube and that when it's Say, loud, so I don't like well, it. Let's retake that with the, what they're actually called. <laughs> loop earplugs. Loop earplugs. Yeah, they're called loop earplugs, aren't they? Sorry, yeah, but yeah. I thought it would make more sense. It's not. It's for everyone, but I think a lot of people who are sensitive to noise, which is a lot of autistic people, they they use them for daily walking around and conversation. My my, my friend who is autistic, right, g- gave me his loop earplugs to try on, and it was a game changer. Have you not bought some then? I thought you'd be no, right, it'd be right up your street. I haven't bought some yet because I forgot what they were, were until I saw him three weeks ago. And he was like, I was like, what are they called? And he was like, loop earplugs. Bro, when you die, I'm going to get a statue made of loop earplugs for you. Thanks, man. I loved them. I thought they were unbelievable. I thought they were amazing. Well, which strength do you have then? What was they? I don't know. I don't know. He, ah. he, I have to ask him which ones what they were, but I could hear everything so clearly and it wasn't like I was surrounded by a sphere of noises. Brilliant. If they want to sponsor us, that'd be great. That would be brilliant. Should we get sponsored by Loop Earplugs? Yeah, drown out this podcast. Yeah, no, because it would—the only thing it wouldn't drown out is our speech. Oh, drown perfect. out everything but this podcast. <laughs> great. <laughs> it's a sort of um, medieval, medieval torture. Yeah, Just earphones yeah. playing our podcast. Yeah. No respite. Let's see, if, let's see if we can get a special pair of loop head loop earplugs made that, that as well as cancelling out background noise, also plays our podcast on a yeah. loop twenty four seven into your ears. Anthony Joshua on the Jonathan Ross show, he recently said that he went to one of those silent camps where you're put in a room in the dark yeah. and you're not allowed to hear anything. And he said that was hard. I think arguably it'd be harder to just hear us. The opening yeah, definitely. Yeah, sixty or have so we, episodes that we've have we done recorded in enough room. podcasts to last a year of hours? No, not yet. No, we have to do. Um, someone quickly Bonuses. Google how many hours in a year. Okay, how many hours in a year? Uh, yeah, I'm not recording that much of this podcast. How much? No how much does it say? How much does it say? Eight thousand seven hundred sixty hours. So we're that's... about. Um, we're roughly. 8,680 hours away. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like not to do it. Not even with bonuses. I'm not doing it. That's I think including that's bonuses. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Okay. I quite like us to record, because you know we find it, like, obviously you can hear it on the, on, if you're listening to this podcast right now, it's, we're, we're obviously doing it on a Zoom. But No, we're doing it on Posh Zoom. <clears throat> we're doing mm. it on Posh Zoom. We bought, we, we got trial. Riverside. Got yeah. a free trial off Riverside. <laughs> But I think there's a good call for maybe just we just put 24 hours aside and we just record 24 episodes in one go. Um, no, I'm not. Do- I'm not doing that. Why not? Oh, I'll tell I you what. Don't actually, wanna, I don't want to. If you include all the stuff I've ever had to cut out of this podcast, we probably do have 8,000 hours worth. 
Right. <laughs> yeah, because every episode is the every episode is the sixth version of. Yeah, every episode it's, is, <laughs> is a sixth false start that I've also had to edit out an hour. <laughs> we listen. This is actually crazy. We started recording an hour ago, and the timer is at twenty-seven minutes. Fucking <laughs> hell. crazy! That's how much is in wow. the bin? Yeah, um, that'll do, won't it, for today? Mm-mm. No, 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 of course it won't. We haven't respected the troops enough. Fuck. Um. Uh, Menorca was good. <laughs> um, what was your favourite thing about what, it? How dare... I'll tell you what my favourite thing about Menorca was. Yeah. Um, Shandy's. Started drinking Shandy. That's so this lovely. is... Lovely. It's nice. Is this... It? Is yeah. this a fucking joke? What? My fucking joke to you? What has happened to you? I've been drinking Shandy's for fucking years. That's and not then true, every... No one's ever... You've never said that. I always drink Shandy's. No, you don't. You've never said that once. You've never once said Shandy. Never once have you said that. This is a fucking. I'm, this is. An, I feel like this you is said, a prank. You, is this you a said prank? Vietnamese tell me, instead of Japanese, but you never said shandy. That that didn't happen as well. <laughs> 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 no, but the what's no, great about shandy is it's so close. It's it's so much closer to a lemonade than a beer. All right, what, no what the way, talk? because the bit of lemonade is so small. Are you crazy? No, no not no, the way that I have it. It's, no, it's nine tenths. Nine tenths closer to a beer. No, it's, no. it's half and half a shandy. This isn't a lager top. What? Shandy's, shandy's half, half and half, half, isn't it? Is it? I thought it was just yeah. like yeah. a lemonade Sh- Shandy's half and half. Lager top is just a little bit of uh... lemonade at the top. So Hugh's been having shandies. Yeah. What, is this all year round or just summer? Literally for about five years, I just have shandies. All you drink at the pub is a shandy? Yeah. That's crazy. I've never yeah. noticed your drink have an extra froth at the top, so I don't know if that's true. Well, it's because I'm embarrassed. A bit of clear lemonade at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's because I'm, ne- I'm never confident enough to say that I've had a don't, shandy. Don't be embarrassed. Yeah. I'm going to get a shandy next time I see you. Really? Yeah. All those times that we've had drinks together, it's been a shandy, guaranteed. When was the last time we had a drink together? About a year ago. Yeah, we didn't even go to the pub. We didn't even go to <laughs> okay. the pub next to our Not... studio even once. <laughs> None of us drink together. <laughs> yeah, it's true. The last time, it's a bit it... too much, isn't it? Was it actually, was... I got drunk with Ed. Actually, crazy. Was it my butt? When was when did we get drunk together? You and me went to Sherborne the other week. Oh yeah, that was fun. <clears throat> was was, was, was Menorca? Time. Was it more fun than Sherborne or not? Um, I tell you what, it was more relaxing. Yeah. I tell you that for nothing. Oh yeah, because um, in Sherborne we were watching. Um, Really stressful interviews and doing turbo gack at four oh, o'clock yeah. in the morning. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't. I yeah, was me, neither. Kind of... me neither. Me <laughs> neither. I was having some ciders. Um, yeah, no, it's it's relaxing to go on a like villa holiday. I think it's nice. But uh... and I'll tell you something you mentioned that I I we also did yeah. in because I I've been to the Yorkshire Dales with lots of my friends this week. That's why we're yeah. scrambling so much to record these episodes. This and the bonus because me and Sunil have been away for a. A combined total of about two weeks. Yeah. Um. Uh, what we didn't like, because there's fuck all there. We were in the middle of nowhere. The only time I ate out in the seven days I was there was I went for a pub lunch with my cousin who's from around there. Yeah. Had a pie and mash. But every other meal, everyone like <coughs> cooked. Everyone took in turns cooking like big batch meals for everybody. It was so nice. Oh yeah, that is nice. Spending that a couple nice. of hours all cooking together, like nine of you, it was really lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Communal living. It's I nice. made, yeah. uh, I made uh, pa- for my meal. I made patata salo pobre. What's that? It's a meal that Adam Flood introduced me to. Shout out Adam Flood. Shout out Adam Flood. It's um, it's me. It's Spanish for poor man's potatoes, but we call it poor cunt's potatoes. Mm. It's like a potato mm. stew hash thing, and it's so bum. It's so What's nice. the meat in that? Is there meat no in meat. that? Oh, I, oh, I, nice. I, I put okay. chorizo in it to make it fancy and nice for everybody, but normally it didn't have no meat. What's the wet? Where's the wet coming from? <laughs> stock. What? Potatoes, stock, peppers and onions, that's it. Right. But you can add, I add loads of extra stuff to make it posh, like tomato puree and chorizo and spices. Well, of course, I had a meal similar to that in um, Menorca. Of course. Um, it was a pint and a toasty for six euros. Seis euros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. San Miguel on wow. tap at the, at the Kit Kat bar. Shout out Kit Kat bar. Oh my god! Yeah, but t- we went to Sherborne. It fucking what? How much was it for a pint? Three quid. Oh, Maybe yeah, want to kill myself. Great. Yeah. You went to Menorca and you had a toasty and a pint. Yeah, cheese and tuna. Oh my god! What? That's it's just 
Why don't you just experience something that's not <laughs> fucking? I had a Spanish a meal as well. Oh yeah, what do you have? What do you, what'd you, what'd you have then? What was, was it? Hang on, was it? What Spanish chips? meal did I have? Uh, bolognese. <laughs> Actually, can I tell you? Can I tell you? A, can I tell you a story? <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> yeah, when I was much younger, I got. Uh, I, I did my first ever advert. Um, yeah, and it was filming in uh, uh, in in Catalonia in Barcelona, mm-hmm. and I'd never been there before. I'd never been so far away on my own. Um, it's the first time I'd left England on my own, I think. And uh, I was like, I'm independent. I'm a, I'm a grown up, and uh, I went to loads of uh, meals out at restaurants. And I tried to be really adventurous and just by complete accident ordered ham, egg and chips for every single meal that I was there. <laughs> <laughs> every meal I was like I was like, Wow, that sounds amazing. My Spanish uh, isn't hammer. perfect. My Spanish isn't perfect since I left school, but but that looks amazing. I don't know if I just I don't know if I just genuinely was thick. Also, it was my first time drinking in like not 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 English, yeah. but like proper heat. It was in July in Barcelona. And I was just like drinking lagers every day. I was fucked up. You were turning against the ham that you were eating. <laughs> yeah. was it, I don't was know it? if I was accidentally ordering ham, egg, and chips, or if they could, if they, if they, was if it they always chips? Spotted a small, a small English boy and said, "We'll bring him yeah. ham, egg, and chips, or like that." You no, know, it was ham, egg, and potatoes, perhaps. Yeah, 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 that's that's all right. That's <laughs> fine because they like ham out there as well. Ham on Iberico changed my life while I was there. Not ham on Iberico and potatoes and eggs, is it? Oh man, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Would it? <laughs> it wouldn't be a crime, would it? You know? Not a crime at all. That lovely. That's why the French created a croque monsieur. It's for us. It's because it's like close to a ham and cheese toasty, and you can say and and English people already know the word monsieur. Yeah, or, and they the also, reasonable. I tell you what, they also know, Madame, if they want an egg on top. Yeah, that's why I want a French egg from you. You want just the egg from a croque madame? <laughs> you want me to bring you back in my suitcase the egg it from f- a croque madame? I want it. I want the bechamel scrape off the top. You want me to bring you please. the burnt bechamel in my hand luggage and the egg from a croque madame. I want you to bring it in your hands as if you were sheltering a bird. All right, I'll bring you that and I'll give Sunil the rest of the sandwich. He can have the ham and cheese bit. <laughs> you can have the bechamel and egg. I'd like you Thank to you. slide it down my open gullet <laughs> yeah. as you return. Yeah, like a pelican. Yeah, okay. I'd like you to put it on the handrail of the airport escalator, and I'd like to be at the bottom of that escalator, licking it off. Yep. Uh, Joe, you know I'm really looking forward to about their trip to France. Yep. Going on the flat escalator at the airport. Mm. Yeah. Because the airport, yeah, yeah, yeah. airport I'm going to has a flat escalator. Do you mean yeah. the one, the the one upstairs and downstairs, or flat? Flat. Or the flat. one where they put the flat, or, flat, flat, see flat. the one they put the luggage on. Yeah. Yeah, where you you walk and you're walking faster than the people that aren't on it. Yeah. Love that. They got it at a Waterloo station as well. All right. um, I'm flying from oh. Gatwick Airport. Don't try and find me, uh, listeners, because no, no, no. we've started getting DMs <clears throat> from people who figured out where we live. Yeah, that's got to stop. I'm not playing um, bowls with <laughs> now, but thank you for asking. Obviously, <laughs> yeah, I'm just—it's just not good. I don't think it's a good idea. It's so funny. Uh, I'm really looking to move out of the area. Soon, it's, it's, thank you. it's really funny to get messages from people who you who you know are doubtless really nice, lovely people. Yeah, but yeah I'm sure they're. Nevertheless, yeah. the messages say, "I know where you live." I mean, I'm yeah, it's like a nice it's lads. Like, <laughs> it's, it's very much a secret society. Um, Shout out to Mikey. I was at a picnic. I was at a picnic recently, and there was a guy there, and he was like, "I listened. You're off slime country, aren't you? I listened to that." And his girlfriend didn't look me in the eye for the rest of the time. Brilliant. <laughs> the whole time. Um, it's been. It's crazy. To, doing well. Yeah. For no. Us, yeah. Man. Yeah, good. congrats. <laughs> um, oh, wait, but why, that's what the D, it's what the people at D Day would have wanted. Yeah, listen. Just by the way, shout shout out quickly. I'll let, sorry to interrupt you, Sunil, but go on. Just because we only did it on the bonus episode, and I feel like we should do it on the main episode as well. I no, because that no, because there's no because there's no benefit to getting on a no, Patreon. No, 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 no. this is <laughs> you kidding is me? This is something else. No, no, this is something I want to. This isn't like a bit that we did on the bonus. This is um, I want to shout out the guy that said he walked the length of France dressed as a giraffe and listened to slime country oh, yeah. the whole way. Oh yeah, yeah, nice yeah. One, Shout out Sebastian <laughs> Mayer. You um you if you listen to the bonuses, you'll have heard me do a brilliant joke where I say hardest geezer, more like tallest geezer, if he's a giraffe. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah. Do you like that one, boys? 
It's really good. I like that. Thanks. Um, okay. Sorry, I'm a bit preoccupied because I want you to play this new game I found. What's the game? Is it one of those mobile games? I have in front of me a list of uh, 10 different types of croc. A dial? Uh, no, cro- as in croc, monsieur, croc, madame. Uh, I, thought you meant the, I thought you meant the shoes. Again, uh, you both got it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> like oh, that's like, over. like the monkey film. And I want you to guess what the added ingredients are for all of them. All right. Okay, this is great. All right. I love this a lot. This is First one, fun. croc provencal. One added ingredient. Um, oh, can I ask a clarifying question? Sure. Is it an added ingredient or an amended ingredient? Um, we're going to say, I'm going to say for the, I'm going to say added. Right. For so this one. I can't just say it's like provencal cheese. I'm going to... No. I'm going to guess that they're adding in salmon. No. Okay. Well, What's uh, Provence famous for? It's summer, it's a lot of sun. What do they grow down there? Um, uh, tomatoes, olives. Perfect. Tomato. Uh, That's it. Wow. Just the addition of tomato makes it a croque My provencal. God. Nice, nice. Okay, next one. Yeah. Uh, croque Auvergne- Auvergnat. And that is an amended ingredient. How are you uh, spelling it? A U V E R G N A T. Just going to Google it quickly. That's yeah. I'm going to say. I'm going to say that they've changed the cheese in that one. They've changed out Bingo. a specific yeah. type of cheese. Blue de, Blue Dauvergne cheese. Blue I'm going to say that it's it's. I'm going to say it's um, croque monsieur, but it's like on a bed of rice, like sushi. That'd be interesting. Like a double poke, like a poke bowl, yeah. 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 I like that. All right, next yeah. one. This is more fun. Croc Norwegian. Oh, Ooh. from now they've oh. swapped one ingredient out. I bet you go first, Hugh, because I went first last time. Say it again, Sunil. Croc Norwegian, and this is a swapped out ingredient. They take one out and they've put this in. Oh man! Don't say bread, man. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to say bread. <laughs> It could very. It could to be if it's Norwegian. It could very well be a rye bread, and that's the swap. Uh, Um, Is that? I'm going to guess maybe like an onion thing. Maybe they they put onions in. No, no. What's Norway? um, What are the Norwegians like to eat? This is the fish one. Is this the fish one? Correct. Smoked salmon. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Next one will be quite easy. Croc tartiflette. What have they added? Tartar flat. Tartar flat. Yeah. They've added tartar flat. <laughs> They've added potato, yeah. yeah. They've added yeah. potato to it. Mm. <laughs> All right, next I think one. it needs needs a bit. <laughs> needs a bit of <laughs> next one you're so, never going to get. I love to have uh, a sandwich where one of the ingredients takes 40 extra minutes to cook than the others. <laughs> <laughs> as, <laughs> Boil as them, a cool Brit- them down, slice them a, up. Yeah. As a British person, if I see less than three things that are yellow, I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. Uh, Oh, it's tough. Uh, croc bolognese slash croc boom boom. <laughs> Wait, so the croc bolognese and boom boom are interchangeable. Doesn't matter what it's yeah, called. It's, it's the same thing. The, it's the same thing. Croc <laughs> boom boom is a, is a croc bolognese. I'm guessing that's um, croc carbonara. They've croc. got carbonara in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's got it's got one of those yeah. old fashioned TNTs and stuck in the middle of it. That's great. A crop boom boom. It's it's a sandwich that you buy from the Acme Corporation to to entice the roadrunner. It's it's a D Day special. It's it's a sandwich painted on the side of a cliff. (laughs) (laughs) They they chuck it down a gold mine shaft. Yeah. Um, Yeah. Okay, this one, this Croc Senor. Senor. Oh, G N O R, S O N O R. Is it like um, senor? senor. As in, is the it Spanish like um, <coughs> senor? All right. It's a it's a croc, but you can pick it up with nachos. <laughs> I think it's a. There's chorizo in it. Mm, it's not chorizo. <gasps> I'm thinking jalapeno. It's not jalapeno. Ah, oh, what is it? But mm. If you're talking about fajita ingredients, you're on the right track, Hugh. Oh, some maybe some little peppers in there, perchance. No, 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 chicken. none of those peppers. No, 
<laughs> chicken. chicken. Uh, no, it's not chicken. <laughs> not chicken. Is, it, is it guac and sour cream? <laughs> is it sour cream on top of it? Is it? It's not sour cream or guac. Are, they, are, they, are, they, are you sure it's not? Ha- are you sure it's not 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 a, a bottle a plastic bottle of old El Paso guacamole squeezy guacamole? Are you sure that's not what it is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it? Wait, no, let's get it. Let, wait, let's guess. Let's, let's guess. You got it. You're nearly there. You said well, guacamole sour team. cream. Um, I think some salsa. Perfecto. Some salsa. Salsa on a croque madame. That sounds croque awful. Senor. Okay. Oh. I don't know. It sounds like it's a bit like um, a fucking, what's it called? A sauce vierge, isn't it? A pizza. Yeah, like a pizza. What's a sauce vierge? It's basically like a salsa. It's like a tomato a oh, herb right. like sauce that you use for fish and shit. That's a green one, isn't it? Let me check that actually, because I could be tripping. No, it's mainly tomatoes, a sauce for you. Okay. Um, uh, what's the next one? Next one, pretty straightforward. Croc Hawaiian. Pineapple. Oh. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Chocolate. That sounds great. It's basil, olive oil, lemon juice, and tomatoes. Yeah. So it's kind of like next a one. Basil. That's all right. Next one, not that interesting, but it's the Croc Gagnette, and it's a different. It's a swap it's a, it's a and subst- an ad. It's a substitution and an ad. Yeah. How are we spelling Gagnette? G-A-G-N-E-T. The substitution is not that interesting. It sounds a bit like the way they um, they harvest foie gras. You know, they, yeah. you know, I mean, like yeah, it sounds yeah, a bit yeah. s- sinister. Maybe they're shoving the croc down a duck or something. Do you know it's, what I mean? It's a tough one to get, and I don't think you will get it because it's Let- a specific... Yeah. Let's try and get it. Uh, uh, here's my first yeah. guess. For the substitution, I think they've changed out the ham for a slightly different regional type of ham. Uh, yeah. Actually, then, in that case, I think they're both substitutions. Yeah, so you're right there, Ed. There's oh, one wow. more substitution to go. So I think they swapped out the ham for the meat in a rustler's burger. <laughs> right, Ed was right. Ed was right. Yeah. Uh, okay, so cool. you, I, I think they yeah. swapped out the cheese <laughs> for the meat in a rustler's burger. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Bingo. Got I think they've swapped the bread out. <laughs> for, for the meat. The, the yeah, meat. Yeah. <laughs> Same so it's ham. a triple rustler's burger. No, 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 no. The ham stays, but the cheese and the bread are, are rustler's burgers. The egg on top the of the, the the egg on top of the croque madame is the rustler's packet. <laughs> and the sauce is, is, sandwich, is Heinz sandwich spread. <laughs> the the, the, the bechamel is my mouth. <laughs> Covering that goddamn Rustler's burger. Um, what is um, it, Sunil? Okay, it's Gouda cheese. Yeah. And this, and I, th- I think instead of the ham, they're using a um, specific type of French sausage called the uh, andouille. Andouille, yeah, sausage. Yeah. So that's primarily pig chitterlings, tripe, onions, wine, and seasoning. It is generally grey and has a distinctive odour. Andouille sausage and gouda sounds like a, an amazing sandwich. Oh, you like Tri- it? That okay. sounds... A sausage and cheese sandwich, come on. Nice. Tripe needs a rebrand, honestly. It really yeah. needs a rebrand. If I if I said to you lads today name. that I'd, I'd had a bit of tripe for lunch... Yeah. You know, I... Have we talked about I this? Just, Tripe, it's, no. It looks really. A tripe looks very interesting. Have, have we talked about? This have you ever seen tripe before? Yeah. It looks great. Yeah, my, my my local fruit and veg shop slash has like a butcher's counter where they've got tripe and they've got like proper stuff that tripe and chicken hearts and shit. But how do you boys feel about offal? Have we talked about this before? Yeah, I've, I've never really eaten it. I don't think. <clears throat> I think I've that... see. I see a lot of it at Master Chef, and that makes me want to eat it more. I I quite like your like standard offal like hearts, livers, kidneys, and stuff like that. Pancreas, I think sweetbreads is pancreas. I like sweetbreads, but but that's what I'm saying about the rebrand. Yeah, right. If you call it sweet, if you call a pancreas sweetbreads, then that can get on Master Chef. If someone's bringing in right a tripe right to put on top of a croque monsieur, no one's having that. But I think tripe and like intestinal stuff, I'm a little bit less. Like I really like other types of offal, but there I'm, I'm a little less keen on them because I feel like they've got just like a really intestinal they've got a sex, vibe. They've they've got a sex toy sort of texture. Do you know what I mean? Um, I don't actually. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Don't t- don't try and wash your hands of this. Look I, at picture of a tripe, and then have a look at look, Google tripe. 
I'm not Googling tripe and then whatever you're going to say after tripe. Make Sunil do it. No, no, just just Google tripe. Look at it. Sunil, Google tripe. No, I'm looking at sandwiches. (laughs) I know what tripe looks like. It looks like um, whatever he's talking about. It looks like a fucking car tire. It does. It looks like a grid. It looks like a beehive, like honeycomb. Um, It's something that maybe, you know, the film wanted where they, they get the patterns off the weave. Where he throws, he, can find, he throws a triangle and it curves around Angelina Jolie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a feeling if you looked at Tripe long enough, you could probably find a message in there. You know, <laughs> you could probably find it. You probably find something that said "Kill JFK" in the Tripe. You know, I. You know, Hugh, you said about the rebrand. I don't yeah. think it works because me, a, a year or so ago, maybe two years ago, my girlfriend and me went for a, an anniversary dinner. And you try to rebrand your relationship. <laughs> she said, this this relationship stinks like tripe. And I said, come on, baby, give it a chance. It's a staple. <laughs> um, no, I, there were sweetbreads on the menu. And my girlfriend and I was like, oh, we've got to get that. And, and my girlfriend hadn't heard of it before. And she was like, yeah, sounds good. And she, we were, and I it, met you on that day. I, yeah. so I remember that. Yeah, yeah and it, We were it, all there. We, yeah. After. And it came and it was like pancreas and she was like i've been tricked oh they but did she did, did, did she know it was did she know it was when at what point did she know it was pancreas when it arrived and she was like this doesn't look like bread was it taste of though? <laughs> it was gorgeous it was really nice it was cooked in marsala wine it was really yummy mm. um i would i would have a sweet bread if you if it was uh if it was given to me for sure i probably wouldn't order it off a menu though you know, let me just check. I go menu. to restaurants. Yeah, I don't go to restaurants that often, so I feel like I don't really want to take a ri- you know a risk yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. You get you know banky bug burger, chips, yeah, lasagna. yeah. Definitely stick to like a a, a croc, um, a croc pizza. Yeah, a bella Italia, <laughs> a bella Italia, <laughs> <laughs> a perfect, a beautiful pizza. A beautiful. Are there pizza. any more? Um, are there any more questions in this quiz, Sunil? Um, there's the last one, which isn't a French sandwich, but it's a Portuguese version of it, but it's a bit too complicated. Oh, no. I'll just tell you what it is. This is a good sandwich. It's called the f- uh, Francesinha. Yeah. It's a Portuguese sandwich uh, made with layers of toasted bread and assorted hot meats, such as roast steak, wet cured ham, or chipolata, of Ooh. which sliced cheese is melted by the ladling of a near boiling tomato and beer sauce. Oh, come on. That sounds really good. It looks good. It does sound good, but it feels like it's a bit too much. You know, just, it's a lot going on. Yeah, what? it feels like they what they've seen. They've, it feels like they've seen the list of other Crocs and been like, "Yeah, oh, everyone's just doing a swap out. We're going to do like a special broth for it. We're going to do like three to three different kinds of meats." It feels like showing off is what it feels no, like. The best sandwiches what, are just... always really like ones that have loads of ingredients and special processes like that. I'll tell you what I found for the next episode. Yeah, and I'm not, twelve under the radar sandwiches you won't believe exist. Oh fuck! <laughs> okay, let's just do it now. Let's do it now. I'm hungry. Uh, let's do it now. I can tell. I can tell. Sunil's losing the will to live. I'm Look at the way it. that his eyes are glazing over. Sunil, like you can't always say that. glazed, man. You, you can't say twelve unbelievable sandwiches you won't believe exist, and then expect me and, right, and right, you right, to go right. buy. We'll catch up next week. I think right. we should Number rate one. them over, over how much how much we believe in them. Like I think that that's fair enough to do. Like, I, like to believe, no, okay, just to look. believe that these th- sandwiches exist, right? Like, okay. Because it, the, what's it's saying well, is that pictures. you won't believe pictures. these fucking sandwiches. I've got you won't pictures. believe them. All right, let's see. Number one, Bauru, the popular Brazilian sandwich. It starts with a scooped out French bun, into which is deposited an ungodly amount of melted cheese, usually mozzarella, topped off with a few slices of roast beef or ham. Tomato and cucumber pickles. Done. I can't believe that. I can believe that. <laughs> I can believe that. <laughs> I believe that. I actually can. You Crazy can to start and number one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, number one. It's just yeah. a cheese and ham sandwich. Very yeah. believable. Okay, cool. Very believable. <laughs> In French bread? In a baguette? <laughs> no. I don't even know can... what a French bun is. Yeah, what is a French bun? It just looks French. like a bap. How are you spelling like genuinely... Bauru? B-A-U-R-U. What are you doing? I'm Googling it. Bauru sandwich. By the way, just quickly, guess what I watched this morning? What? I watched Charles. That Charles movie you're in. 
Brian and Charles. Brian and Charles. Yeah, I watched that this morning, man. It's good. Isn't I thought it? you watched it a few weeks ago. It's good stuff. It's really it's good. On really. Ne- it's on. It's on Netflix. Good. Yeah, I watched Je- Brian and Charles on Netflix, man. It's an awesome it's film. Really good. I, I genuinely really love it. I watched it not knowing that you were in it, like it's very six sweet months film, ago, and I was like, oh shit. Oh, That's that become a way of life for most people is to you watch something and Sunil fucking turns up in it. <laughs> it's awesome. so annoying. Like <laughs> it happens all the time where all of my like friends are now like actors but like good enough to be in films. Right. And it's fucking annoying. <laughs> like I was watching the fucking Batman movie. Yeah. yeah sitting yeah. there watching it, yeah. everyone's going, Oh, it's incredible. And then suddenly yeah. fucking Janine fucking Janine turns up in it. it. Shout yeah. out Janine Rooney. <laughs> and then Janine fucking Rooney, yeah. And then doing fucking mixed pill with Janine Edinburgh. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's like, you know, it kind of ruins the immersion when I'm like, is my friend talking to Batman? Is my mate having a chat with fucking Batman? I had the exact same thing. I, was, I didn't know Janine was in it. Or I'd like, I'd known, but I'd forgotten or whatever. And then, then my emotion ruined. Because I was like, what's my friend Janine doing at the Iceberg Lounge with Penguin? <laughs> 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 same thing with uh, James. I, I, when I last did the Now show, I said to Hugh Dennis, I was like, how fucking dare you turn up in a James Bond film? How oh, fucking yeah, dare you? That. Yeah, God. He just fucking turns yeah. up yeah. in the last James Bond film. He's in the, the last, last James one. Bond. The one where James and Bond he's kills like, himself. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then he, <laughs> Hugh Dennis whispers in his ear, he goes, I, I bet you can't, I bet you don't. I had that. You won't but do that, it. I had that recently. I was watching um, Harry Potter and I text Daniel Radcliffe and I said, Lad, <laughs> I didn't know you were in this. <laughs> I, said, I said, I just know you from the open. Mics. What are you doing in, in eight Harry Potter films? <laughs> uh, but I tell you what, Hugh, the, the thing with Sunil is that, yes, he may be in lots of films, but he also, at the end of the day, he has to read out a list of sandwiches to, to you and me while I get drunk. <laughs> this is it. I'm, gonna, I'm actually just going to read the list and I'm going to ignore everything you all say. No, we're going to have no, five minutes of chat that. for every sandwich. Uh, we cannot We cannot do it. Beef on Weck. <laughs> What's beef on Weck? Right. What's Weck? It's, it, starts with rare, it starts with rare roast, rare thinly sliced roast beef tucked into a roll called a Kummel Weck, which has been dusted with coarse salt and caraway seeds. Okay. The top bun gets a dip in beef jus. That's good stuff. Ooh, that I've, good. Had that bef- I've had that before. Sounds have really you? good. Yeah, I had a burger. Right. <laughs> they give you beef. They give you like beef. Oh yeah, I've been to that place. <gasps> oh, by the way, that place too. I found a new band meat spot that's really good. Don't I'll tell us on the podcast. It, we have to go there. It's really good. It's in central London. Yeah, yeah. Don't let these people know. Every time I've been have in they, there, I've been um, the only person in there, and it's unreal. <clears throat> yeah, but how are they treating you? Is the true question? It's really yeah. nice. What? What? Yeah. And, well, that's not. And the sandwich is good. No, no, that's no. too much. That's something happened. Something's it's too good to be no, true. No, no. And I tell no. you what, when I ordered, they didn't say you're a, you're a sick cunt for ordering that one. What? Yeah, I know. Can you believe what? it? That's fucking weird. I think the true test will be ordering a coffee and seeing how long that will take. If that takes less than an hour, <laughs> I'll be starting to. Fr- I'll be freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, semita or kemita. I don't know how it's pronounced. C e m i t a. Yeah. It's a Mexican sandwich traditionally served on a brioche-like egg dough roll and includes meats of various kinds, such as milanesa, which is beef that's pounded, breaded, and fried, uh, and uh, some other mild white cheese, avocado, onions, leaves of the soapy-tasting herb papalo, and red chili sauce. Oh, man, that looks good. I like the sound of that one. That's great. That's a lot. I really like the sound of that one. I'm looking at pictures of it as we speak, and it looks very good. It's nice. It looks good, that. (laughs) What's that stringy stuff? Cheese. That's it. I mean, I'd say... Onion. (laughs) I'd say I I could believe it as well, but Uh, there's not one yet. I'm waiting for one when you're like, oh, it's like a sort of a dog turd, and they've taken out the middle of it, and inside that dog turd, they've put just like an old bag of lettuce that's still in the packet. Oh, right. You want one you know that you I mean? genuinely can't believe people eat. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't believe that. If, if you were to like, I couldn't, oh, I can't believe people are eating like light bulbs smashed up in a fucking tea towel. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> that would be a brilliant sandwich. The slime country <laughs> sandwich. You, you, you wrap a lot of light bulbs up in a tea towel, smash it on the, the edge of the counter and then feed it to someone. What, right, Rest Chivito, <laughs> which is one of the Uruguayan national dishes. It uh-huh. starts with a filet mignon, which is topped with mozzarella, tomatoes, mayo, olives, bacon, ham, and eggs. And that, that is too fucking much. Chivito. That's very rich. That's very too rich. much. 
Chivito okay. sandwich. Egg, uh, uh, no, it egg, looks good. egg as well. It looks good. It looks good. Next egg one, as well. Next one is the double, which is a native dish of Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, starts with two flat fried breads topped with uh, curry chickpeas, finished off with mango, coconut, cucumber, oh. tamarind, cilantro. Oh no, culantro, which is a herb similar in flavor to cilantro and hot sauce. No, I've seen that these. Is nice. They look really good. I've seen these. Oh, it's just... almost like a yeah. That's I've great. just googled the double, and um, what I've got is no. the is the Richard Gere Tough of Grace movie, the double, and I'd say it doesn't look good. That I can't believe that's a sandwich. You, yeah, you've done it. Wait, so what's it called? Wait, the double sandwich. Yeah, the see. double Trinidad. Ooh, fucking hell! Yeah. It's a bit high, isn't it? It looks. It's good. a bit high. Right, next it's one's a... boring. Yeah, it's called the Gerber. But... Open sandwich made with a loaf of Italian or French bread that's topped with garlic, butter, ham. Open sandwich, fuck we off, have to cut, we off. have to shut the... Uh, uh, you, you read my mind. <laughs> Open sandwiches can get fucked. If, if, I, if I'm eating it with a knife and fork, it's not a sandwich. Fair enough. Let's, As of let's now, that. that's the only sandwich that's made of the brief of this fucking article because I, I cannot believe, believe they've included that. that. I can't believe they've nah. included that. Okay. Well, it's not a sandwich. Yeah, it's not a sandwich. Cut out on open. Yeah. That's, that's, that's something on toast. Yeah. You're right. Gibarito. I can okay. imagine that as yeah. yeah. That was invented in Chicago in 1996 by a Puerto Rican chef. The sandwich is best known for replacing the bread with fried green plantain. Oh, sick! And filling it with uh, steak, cheese, lettuce, onion, and garlic a- aioli. So that's okay. that's the first sandwich that I've listened to, and I've been like, "This is this is something that deserves. This should be the number one spot." At the very, this is what should have kicked us off. It's the most unbelievable. Because uh, it's it's the most unbelievable. But still yeah. being a it's sandwich, a, an open sandwich isn't a sandwich. Yeah, but it's also it's it's almost a it's almost a a banana with stuff in it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah. absolutely oh, crazy. Man. Sandwich. It looks good. I've just googled it. It looks good. Right. Next one neatly wraps up this episode. I thought you said there were twelve. Ah, oh, fuck's sake! Oh, I'll save that till last. Uh, next one, <laughs> Mitraillette. Mitraillette. Wow, that looks good. One of Belgium's most popular sandwiches. Uh, starts with a small baguette, which is topped with fried meat, including steak, burger, or sausage, fries, and any of a range of sauces, including ketchup, mayo, garlic sauce, or bernays. Wow. That, but that's just too. Uh, it's too open, isn't it? You can't just say, "Oh, it's just any sauce you desire." That's not okay, to yeah. me. That's a coward's move for me. I don't like that. <laughs> but then. Okay, yeah. All right, fair enough. It's not the chef's um, choice on that. Can you just imagine being like, oh, I've got a new pizza, it's sort of a sort of, sort of bread base, then <laughs> tomato, then mozzarella, and then whatever yeah, topping you really like on that, whatever you fancy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah I How choose sweet day. corn, chicken, and... Barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> As they do in Rome. The Romans have. Right. Yeah. Pambazo. Pambazo. From Is Mexico? that... Uh, is that office inspired by the character Pam Beasley from The Office? <laughs> no, no, I don't know. I, don't actually, think so. I, don't know. I can't say no. Right, starts well, we'll with a firm, them. slightly dry round roll that gets a lengthy dunk and a warm red guajillo pepper sauce. Guajillo. Guajillo. Because the bread is dry, it soaks up the sauce and retains its shape. Then it's sliced in half and filled with either potatoes and ground chorizo or longan- longaniza sausage and refried beans topped off with shredded lettuce, salsa, crema, and fresh white cheese. Uh, Jesus mm, Christ. I, as soon as I heard refried beans, I was, I was, I was in. Bro, this sandwich. I'm going to look up where to get one. <laughs> I, had a cra- I had a crazy sandwich in, um, in, a, in Florence. Yeah. It's like this famous What's sandwich place. I've forgotten it now. But it was, it was, they have all this like pistachio cream that they put in oh, all the yeah. sandwiches. It's like on focaccia. It was just the like most incredible thing I'd ever fucking eaten. Right, guys, amazing. we got fucking, they do a pambazo in Nine Elms. Oh, let's go. Nine Elms is good for something, finally. Finally. Let's go to, let's do something in Nine let's Elms. Let's get the Uber boat and get a pambazo. Nice one. Yeah. Right, Polish yeah. boy. Ah, oh, this already sounds amazing. I think I know what it's a Polish Cleveland. boy is. Is that short? Is that the, what a Polish boy actually for what is? <laughs> It's, it's a po' boy. <laughs> no, it's from Cleveland, home to one of the most insanely sloppy and delicious sandwiches in existence. It starts innocently enough with a kielbasa sausage, either grilled or deep fried on a bun, 
then it's topped with French fries, coleslaw, and barbecue sauce. That's not much of a. I mean, I mean, I'd eat it for sure, but that's just Sounds that's like a hot dog. That's a hot dog with. Yeah. It's a hot dog with chips. Yeah, it's it? like the end of a barbecue, isn't it? <laughs> it's it's the, <laughs> it's the dribbles of a barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. All right, mozzarella in carrozza, popular in Italy's Campania region. Uh, it's um, basically a grilled cheese sandwich with mozzarella. Yeah. All right. All right move on. on. I do Oven believe that. Dredged, dredged in flour and egg wash, and then fried off. Okay. Churri pan from Argentina starts with grilled fresh chorizo, which is tucked into a crusty roll on top with a variety of sal- salsas. Uh, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Just the sal- just different salsas on it. But it's the variety of salsas which makes it. Chimichurri is one of them. It's a lot of stuff where people run out of shit in the fridge, isn't it? Do you know what uh, I mean? Like... Yeah, croc madame. We already know what that is, guys. I can't we believe know. that's on the list. That's crazy. I can't, well, it's under the radar for some people. Unbelievable. Fuck me, look at this one. New Jersey style sloppy joe. Okay. Oh, my God. oh yeah. Yeah, okay. A sloppy joe probably involves saucy ground beef on a bun, but the New Jersey sloppy joe is a far more civilized affair. A double decker sandwich of various cold cuts, such as turkey, roast beef, and ham, Swiss cheese, coleslaw, and Russian dressing on rye bread. That looks good. So, but so nothing to do with a sloppy joe. It is quite sloppy. Completely different from a sloppy joe, I'd say. Oh, I've never had a sloppy joe before, but I imagine very difficult to eat. When it sort of it looks like an, almost an impossible meal. When will this fucking list end, man? I remember. <laughs> I can't fucking believe it. I remember it. being a kid. Right? <laughs> they would always talk about sloppy joes in American TV shows, and I thought, yeah. when I grow up, I'll probably eat loads of sloppy joes, and I still don't think I've ever had a single one. A very Malcolm in the Middle Added kind of vibe. Simpsons, be. Malcolm in the Middle, yeah. The next one. All right. Yeah. Ham on burr. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look. Yeah. Uh, this is the last one now. We can finish on this one. This wraps the episode up neatly. Okay. It's called the Lampredotto. Oh, Lampredotto. A, bell. a staple street food in Florence. This sandwich is a tripe lover's dream. Okay. Ah. Oh. It starts with the little scene fourth stomach of the cow, which is slow. <laughs> <laughs> that's a rebrand of tripe there, Hugh. That's, that's the, the one best that's the best part, yeah. man. The fourth which is one. It's slow cooked yeah. with tomato onion, parsley, and celery until it has the texture of tender roast beef. It's then tucked into a crusty bun that's been dipped in the tripe broth and topped with a green parsley sauce. Yeah. That's Bloody it. hell. Bloody hell. I can. I actually can believe that last one. <laughs> that's great. Tripe, that sounds great. In tri- tripe in tripe broth. Yeah, that's that's awesome. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, Out of this world. And look out how the time world. flies, boys. Look how much time we've done. We've done too much. Oh my goodness. And and only three quarters of it was listing sandwiches that we like. <laughs> 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 oh, all right. Thank you so much for right, listening, then. everybody. Uh, Cheers, guys. Patreon.com forward slash Slowcoaching. Um, uh, no, Ed. No, Ed, Ed do, do it again. Patreon.com, uh, Patreon.com forward slash Slime Country. Do you guys have anything to plug? Uh, no, I don't have anything to plug. Just a very nice, healthy Patreon in which you can listen to. Lots and lots of fan fictions and Q and A's and bonus stuff, episodes and, stuff. and also the complete all that good stuff. Of all of our old episodes, fifty plus hours, and then the bonus episodes on top. But I would say, as a plug, and this will be an ongoing plug, Huge Davies and myself, Ed Knight, are doing Edinburgh Fringe runs. Oh uh, yeah, and uh, you can go and look at our Instagrams and buy tickets for those. Tickets are moving quite nicely for both, so get in while you can. Yeah. I'd say, yeah. The run will sell out. Yeah. So get your tickets mm. now, please. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye, everybody. Cheers, guys. Bye, bye. bye, bye. everyone. Bye. Bye.